a lot of you brothers, man, y'all don't want to listen. A lot of you brothers are going to have a hard time and it's nothing that we can do about it. It's nothing that God himself can do about it because y'all don't want to listen. That's what the problem is. It ain't women, bro. You know, it's it's women out here right now. A lot of women is clowning brothers, doing brothers dirty. You see it on the Internet like they a lot of women is, you know, um, they're embarrassing men on the Internet. They're doing vindictive things. They and they clown and dudes for being you hear a lot of women clowning men's intelligence. You hear this a lot. Women and the reason why a lot of them not wrong. Some of you men don't get it. I'm talking to the brothers, man. Why do y'all not? Why do y'all think this is your problem? Why do you think you can make a hoe a housewife? Why do you think that you you have this? You know, I get it, bro. Let me let me stop playing. I get it. I had this same fantasy as well. You want to make a hoe a housewife. That's not possible. It's never going to happen. You understand? And why would you even want to do that? You know, that's a dysfunctional mindset, bro. I'm telling you, it's not people, you know, women are even saying, or you heard other people like relationship, excuse me, relationship coaches and things. They'll call it not being healed. You know, that's that's some foolish term. Man, you just really going out and trying to make a, a hoe, a woman who's been around the block, a woman who do it, you know, who you think that makes her, you, you thought that made her a decent woman. Again, man, women are women. If you get you a woman who like you, you know, she can do whatever you want her to do. Now, some of you guys, like I said, man, you heard young Miami. She talking about she like to get peed on. She saying she want to. You know, eat a dude booty like groceries. You know, uh, you got women who don't care about doing some very, you know, having threesomes and and all of that. Like once like you just you dudes, I don't want my woman to have no threesome, bro. Like a woman like to me, when you sleep, I don't want my woman with nobody but me. And that's your problem. You know, she ain't going to be your woman for long. And at the end of the day. That's all, you know, some of some of these guys are looking for. Like it's hookup, you know, it's a hookup or whatever. And that's fine, man. If you are whore, if you're on some whoremonger male, that you're on that type of time, you still on that, go ahead, man. But don't cry when something bad comes from it. You know, the brother's not here for that. You feel me? Like, again, a lot of a lot of men just don't know how to pick to even look for a woman if you as far as what you want in a wife, what you require from her, if it's just sex, man, you know, what's the point of even getting married? Like, what would be the point of that? What would be the point of, you know, having babies with these women like that? What's the point? You know, y'all niggas getting y'all self caught up in all these these courts and systems and then niggas be crying after the fact, bro. Like, stop it, man. They want to kill the chick and kill theyself after the fact. Don't do that. Keep it G, man. Keep it P. Come on now. If you're going to be out doing that stuff, keep it P then. You know, now I can understand if you went out there and got you a, a a church girl or, you know, a virgin or you got you a woman who was out there who wasn't on social media like that. A woman, you know, who only had one kid or, you know, or you got you a decent woman or whatever. And then she betrayed you. You she made y'all made vows and commitments to each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. And then she just totally flipped. Like, that's different, bro. You know, but you getting with a woman who's promiscuous and, you know, not into that. She not in that lifestyle. You know, she not she don't ever want to. She's sleeping with multiple guys. She didn't had, you know, this guy, this guy. She didn't had this size, man, that size. She ain't trying to she don't want to settle down with no man, especially now in this day and age when a lot of the courts and stuff, she could just. Finesse a lot of you guys, you silly guys. A lot of y'all niggas is gullible, man. Y'all too green and she can just use sex to finesse. And there's no stigma. 
You know, you don't have nobody holding them accountable because you have simps, like silly guys who thinking, waiting in the wings, thinking that it's going to ever be something serious with this woman. Like, you have a fantasy of making a, a 304 a housewife. You have a fantasy of making a 304 a housewife. You need to stop it, man. You doing, you're not doing yourself a, a service doing that. You're trying to make a 304 a housewife and think that you're going to be 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 living good thinking that 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 she gonna have your best interest at heart even if you know the only reason circumstances will keep her there like and even if she gets if she stayed there circumstantially like for maybe she just get too old or she can't when if she couldn't get out of the situation before she got too old then she, she don't still don't want to be with you man if you know, she she looking, cheating on you here and there. Now y'all got open. She talked you into an open relationship. Come on, man. All right, but if that's what you want, then, you know, a lot of y'all guys, are y'all in open relationships not by choice. So if that's what you want. But Amber Rose, like, man, you, these, you have women who didn't, like I said, they don't even want to be y'all... 304s don't want to be you men's wives, man. You got Amber Rose out here who basically said she didn't had enough D for three niggas. For, she didn't had enough D for three lifetimes, basically what she said. She don't even want no more D no more. She like, she didn't had enough. She don't want to be no, she don't want to settle down. She didn't want to date. You know, she, these 304s, just, they just, they do their thing, get grunt through it and, and the gambit and get burnt out. You know, that's how it is, man. Get blown out and burnt out. Hopefully you can survive that unscathed, but... A lot of times people don't. But if, again, man, if that's what you into and, and you living on the edge and, and or whatever, man, you, you just not into the commitment or marriage thing and stuff, whatever. You It's a good time for you to go out and, and like I said, man, don't thread niggas with a good time. It's a good time for you to go out and go get you some some strange box or get you a piece of evil ass if that's what you into, man. But be careful, man, because it might make your head blow off. We already know how that go. But if you a a person, if you a man who looking for a commitment, looking for, you know, want to raise a family traditionally, want a feminine woman, you know, you want a woman who's just for you exclusively and only for you and wants to be with you and looks at it as forever or being with you forever or at least a long period of time. I don't even know. Now it's time limits on this stuff. Like if you're looking for that, man. Don't go try to find it in a strip club. Don't go try to find it in the damn bar where people are drunk. I mean, I ain't gonna say you know you couldn't find it in a in a bar. You know, it depends. Like if uh, you in a um, a restaurant setting or something like that. But don't go try to find it in you know wherever. I, it, I'm not gonna even tell you where to find it. But just bro, look. You know that you can't make a 304 a housewife. They don't want to do that. Okay, it's not their life. You got the wrong one. Is what they're telling you. And you think you got the right one, like the Coca-Cola. No, nigga. You got the wrong one. You have bad discernment. And really, in your heart of hearts, you just full of lust, man. You just but you and you wanna make that woman, you know what I'm saying, and turn her into um a, a different type of woman when you really need to get a decent woman, you know, and you two will connect in a in a way that you never connected before with, you know what I'm saying? And it'll all be great. It won't be no, you won't have to worry about looking over your shoulder, smashing your woman, man. Come on. All right. So with that being said, it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. Come on.